Huawei laptops has a PC manager. Nitro 5 has a Nitro Sense, and Asus laptops have My Asus. My Asus is a pre-installed application that comes with any Asus laptops, at least for those bought five years ago or so. It is Asus' very own system control interface. It provides optimization controls for your battery, graphics, audio, connectivity, and some function key controls. The most exciting part of it is its link to My Asus which enables the interface between your Asus laptop or PC with any Android or iOS devices. As long as it's running on Android 9 or iOS 13 or higher, you can mirror the screen, extend your PC screen to your mobile phone, remote control your phone, and more. In this video, I'm going to provide a walkthrough for all of this, so watch till the end to learn more. My Asus comes pre-installed to your Asus laptop or PC, so there's nothing to do from your PC side. For your mobile phone, you will need to install the link to My Asus application which you can find from Play Store or App Store. Once installed, you will of course need an account to set it up. If you don't have an Asus account yet, you will need to register for one. You can do this from the mobile phone or the PC side, but I recommend doing it from the PC side since this also enables the registration of your machine to Asus, which is important for claiming warranty and such things. Obviously, I will not go through that anymore since it is all self-explanatory and for privacy reasons as well. From your mobile phone side, after installing Link to My Asus, make sure that you give the application all the access it needs. You can go to the settings and under Discoverability, just check everything. Then go to Permission Management and also check everything. Of course, this will all still depend on you. But for me, since I am the only one using my ZenBook 13 and my ROG Phone 5, I choose to give all the access that Link to My Asus needs. Now, let's go back to the PC. Okay, so after you've set up your account on ASUS, you will be presented with this homepage. So there's a lot to do here. You can see your serial number. You can upgrade your warranty. You can see your system info, which will show you the software and the hardware information of your laptop. And you can also contact ASUS. You can do a one-click diagnosis, which I've done a few minutes ago. There's no problem found. And you also have the featured items from ASUS. And all of these items are also here in the customization. So you can just go here. You can view this as a list here or by tab from the top here. For the power and performance, you can select your battery health charging here options as balance, maximum. And there's a description here. So it will guide you what to select depending on your charging habit. You can also set your fan speed to performance, standard, or whisper mode. And you can also turn on the AI noise cancelling microphone. So ZenBook 13 OLED, which is what I'm using, has a built-in AI noise cancelling microphone. So this will not allow you to install something like Crisp. It will not allow Crisp to take over the noise cancelling since it already has its own AI noise cancelling chip built in here. So this is how I sound when this is turned on. Let's turn it off. So this is how I sound when this is turned off. I don't know if there's any difference. You can also do a noise cancelling for the speaker. And it also has options for OLED gear. You have pixel refresh pixel shift and you can also auto hide the taskbar to prevent all that burn but I don't like hiding the, my taskbar so I turn this off and you can also select your color profile to normal vivid manual you can also do eye care I just choose normal here and for connectivity you can also do the task first I just turn this off because I'm not sure what this other options will do but I turn on the Wi-Fi Smart Connect so it will connect to the highest bandwidth Wi-Fi available to me. And you can also set the function key to be locked or just normal. Just choose normal here. Also have ASUS promotion here for any product that they are selling. ASUS news. And then user center uh, to view your connected devices. 
and some information about your account and for the settings you can subscribe to asus messages system diagnosis and customer service and more uh, just make sure that automatic essential update is turned on here so your application will be updated when needed and about will be just a version of your my asus and i think that's it now let's go to the most exciting part of this one link to my asus the first functionality available here is the file transfer make sure that the wi-fi bluetooth and gps are enabled from both your pc and mobile phone also make sure that the two devices are connected to the same wi-fi network once all of that are checked you can begin the transfer from phone to PC, just tap on File Transfer, then select a file that you want to send to the PC, then tap Send. You will be given option for the nearby devices. From here, you can choose the PC device. Then from your PC, you will receive notification for a file being sent to you. Just click Accept to start the file transfer. You will then see its progress under the Activity feed. Once done, you will receive another notification saying it is successful. It's basically the same process for PC to phone transfer. Select a file from your PC app, send it, and accept it from your phone. Okay, so now let's do uh, screen sharing here. Just need to connect a device here, select ROG phone. So we have a permission required here. So from the phone, make sure that you click this. And okay. The screen recording on my phone does not work when I'm mirroring a screen, so I need to switch to this out of the device recording. Let's connect a device again and select my ROG Phone 5. There we go. My phone screen is now mirrored on a separate window in my laptop. There is about a half second delay here, which is understandable since we can't really have a zero latency on a wireless screen mirroring. But this is so cool. I can even control my phone from my PC as you can see here. I'm scrolling using my laptop's mouse. Really cool stuff. Now let's double the screen. There you go. See? So as you can see my mouse is already on my phone. Let me drag this window the other screen you can see there great right now you have a dual screen and to disconnect just disconnect from here here's how it looks like from the outside and this time using the original zenbook wallpaper as you can see i'm dragging my mouse from my phone screen which is currently an extension screen of my laptop Aside from the screen sharing, the mirroring, and the extension of the screen, you can also do communication through your phone from your PC. We can see the history, the contacts, the notification, and even the applications within your phone. So from here, you can remote control your phone and open an application. Let's say, let's open Clash Royale. Okay will automatically open the mirror the mirrored screen here and you can play from here and click that I'm clicking from my machine right now so you can remote control your cell phone from here okay and you can also call someone from here just click the button here to enable this call you can see the history or even the contacts it's connecting now okay there we go i don't we call my wife from here there you go call see it's dialing and the audio is coming in from my pc right now hello hello okay audio hello, hello uh -oh. okay audio malinaw uh -oh. okay okay bye bye ano pa wala na Bye. There you go. You can also see your notification here. So it's a really great tool 
for interfacing with your phone from PC to phone and vice versa. And there are also other applications here that you can try the remote access. You can remotely access your PC from your phone, but I haven't tried this yet. I already enabled it, but I think there's a lot of security options that you need to enable, which I'm not comfortable with. So I did not push through on testing this. And then there's also the shared camera where you can use your phone as your webcam but it doesn't work for now as you can see here from this video i'm trying to connect it but it seems that my phone cannot see my laptop and my laptop cannot see my phone when i'm doing the shared cam so i just stopped trying after that so i think that's it if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you love it, please consider subscribing to the channel. Delazuj for watching. Novaire.